Nigeria will not end me. Nigeria will not end my family. Nigeria will not end you that is watching me also. What's up, people? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite girl again, Dog Cass. And thank you for tuning in. If you're a new subscriber, thank you so much. And if you're a returning subscriber, you are most definitely welcome back. And if you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Smash the subscribe, subscribe button. button and click the bell notification to be notified whenever I post a new video. And also give this video a big thumbs up, like, share, and leave your comment down below. So today, I'm pretty mad. So this is a disclaimer. If you are a patriotic Nigerian and you are watching this video, this video is not for you. If you are in Nigeria and whatever is happening in Nigeria is not affecting you, this video is not for you. So don't come to my comment section to be telling me what I don't want to hear. If you want to publicize Nigeria, I beg, go and open your YouTube channel and start posting your own video. Guys, what has what what is the matter with Nigeria? I, I sometimes think that why am I a Nigerian? Why was I born in that country? Even though I know that it is God purpose for me to be in that country, but then like Nigeria is really really going backward. Every Nigerian will tell you this that the worst mistake we've ever made in Nigeria is our president. Ah, boo boo, buari ah. Sometimes when I think about it that Buhari C has like two or three years to spend, I am always sad. Like Nigerian government just they don't do anything that will favor the citizen. They are always looking for ways to make the citizen poor. They want all Nigerians to remain in poverty level. Why? Recently our Nigerian government banned cryptocurrency in Nigeria. Like no bank accounts, you cannot trade crypto in nigeria why where other countries are trading in cryptocurrency and they are making more money they are growing they are developing but nigeria once they saw that that is another level of how we are going to be wealthy in nigeria they place the ban on it again why why guys if you are watching this video you better go and start saving money to write your ielts exam go and start saving money to do some good things in your in your life because before you know what is happening Nigerian government is going to ban traveling abroad. Nigerian government is going to ban writing, writing IELTS exams. So all of us are going to remain in Nigeria. Like, please, what is the matter? What is the matter? What have we done to Nigeria? Our president in Nigeria is a Muslim. Now, I am here. Yeah, I, I don't want to talk about religion. I don't want to say, oh, Christianity, Muslim or anything. But Buhari as a person has done nothing good for Nigeria. Since Buhari became our president in Nigeria, we've always been going backward. Bad thing has, has been happening to Nigeria. Some months ago, NSAS protesters, they protest against mm, police brutality in Nigeria. Do you know what they did to these guys? They fired shots at them. Like, police were killing people straight without no conscience. And they got the order from the, from the government. Apparently, but up to today, nobody was brought to justice. Citizens were prote protesting against bad governments in Nigeria. And Nigerian government went to hire thugs. 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 I mean, I don't know how to describe thugs for you guys. Thugs are like touts. People who... I don't know. Thugs are bad people. People who drink, smoke in the street and all that. Nigerian government went to hire thugs. And these thugs were beating people. And these thugs were killing people. These talks even came in a police van. Please tell me, when did talks start using police vehicles? Like sometimes, I just, when I think that I have family in Nigeria, I have siblings in Nigeria, that makes me to work harder, like work harder, to be more focused because, to be telling you, Nigeria doesn't support young people's dream like me. Nigeria doesn't support our dreams. That is why most Nigerians prefer to study abroad, prefer to go abroad. Every time people like us, we preach about Ni that we preach that things are going to get better in Nigeria. But then those old old cargos who are still in government in in our country, they don't want. They are only there for their money, for their fame, for their greed. 
Nigeria will keep on borrowing money from China every time, every time. Who is going to pay the debt? Our president is not even going to be on seats to pay that debt. Who is going to pay that debt? Please. And Nigeria is the most is one of the most religious country in the whole world. Yes, Nigeria is one of the most religious country in the whole world. But why is it that Nigeria keeps on borrowing money from China? China is a country where they where they, where they worship different kind of idol. This thing, there are little Christians in China. But why is it that Nigeria, that is the religious country, still keeps borrowing money from China? Our presidents, our 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 people in leadership, they keep borrowing money from China that our own children children will still come and pay the debts for. And these people travel abroad. These people go to other countries. These people see the things happening in other countries, but yet they want Nigeria to still be retarded. They want Nigeria to still be in the same level. Look at Philippines. Philippines is a developing country for crying out loud. They are not the wealthiest of all the countries, but yet they are trying their best. They are trying their best. I have never voted in Nigeria because I left Nigeria early but then i don't think i will ever vote in nigeria because it's like every time we choose or we vote we vote for bad leadership i just pray that god is going to send us someone who is going to be after god's heart who is going to prioritize the citizen my heart bleeds for nigerians because some people are just looking for a way to make ends meet the government instead of them to provide jobs opportunities instead of them to do good roads to to make ele electricity stable 24 7 electricity they keep on having misplaced priorities they keep on focusing on things that are not even necessary is cryptocurrency is bitcoin the major problem of nigeria now we have insecurity people commit crime every time without justice they go scot free we need to focus on that they are focusing on cryptocurrency oh my god I have told you, if you are a patriotic Nigerian, you are watching this video, please, I beg you, just stop watching and go. And if you know you don't, you want to watch, keep on watching. Don't come and be telling me anything stupid in my comment section. You understand? Yeah. A lot of Filipinos here, they ask me, oh, they, they talk about, whenever they see me, they talk about Boko Haram and everything there. In Nigeria, the thing people know most about us is terrorism. When you go to any any country, the first thing they will tell you that oh the Chibo girls, oh Boko Haram, oh this, oh that, that shouldn't that that is uncalled for. Why should they know Nigerian for terrorism? In case you don't know, if you are watching this video, in the northern part of Nigeria where the Muslims are, there is terrorism going on there, and these terrorists, we don't know how they get money. We don't know how they get armored tanks. We don't know how they get good guns. Yes, they don't have work. Apparently, they are working for the government because I don't know how they keep on getting money to do all those things they are doing. They go to a school to kidnap students who are in a boarding school without no trace and they will carry our soldier. They, they, they will take our soldiers to waste their lives. They, they will be putting our soldiers in war fronts where they plant with those terrorists. And those terrorists will end the life of our soldiers. Like, Nigeria has no value for life. Look, if you are a Nigerian, you are thinking about becoming a policeman. You are thinking about becoming a soldier. Nigeria is not for you. Leave Nigeria. Go outside the country because Nigeria doesn't value your life. The end SARS protest is enough to tell you that Nigeria has no value for life. So far, their family is good. So far, their children is good. So far, everything with their life is good. They do not care about the masses. They do not care about the citizen. My brother wants to be, my brother loves military, but God bears me witness. My brother can never be in the Nigerian army. Never. I will never allow my brother to have anything to do with Nigeria military. Never. But I'm going to make sure that he pursues that his dream. Please, why? So recently, I was going on Twitter and I saw that the northern leaders, they held a meeting with those terrorists. And I saw these terrorists wearing camouflage, guys. Soldiers camouflage. In Nigeria, a citizen cannot wear soldier camouflage. 
camouflage is it camouflage or camouflage whatever it is a citizen cannot wear it unlike here in the philippines anybody we can wear camouflage anyhow we like but in nigeria a citizen cannot wear camouflage and i saw this terrorist wearing camouflage having meetings with modern leaders these people are muslims they are having meeting with them are these not the same terrorists that our soldiers are looking for and what are they discussing please what is the what is what 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 kind of discussion should leaders be having with terrorists are they trying to tell them that oh can you please reduce the terrorism can you please kill us slowly you are killing us too much just take it one step at a time i do not understand people that they are supposed to kill on site they are having meetings with them that's that is that is enough for you to know that nigeria is is nothing to write home about nigeria is really nothing to write home about and nigerians are making big moves everywhere they are in the world come here to the philippines the best students some of the best students here in the philippines are nigeria they are topping their class go to the u.s go to england go to germany go everywhere in the world you will see nigerians holding a high position there we are really brilliant we have we have the capacity we have the capability but if you remain in nigeria nigeria will make you useless in case you have that dream of traveling abroad don't kill that dream take your journal now write it write your plan what what are the things you need pray about it god, god is going to give you help if, if it's the will of god i know some people do not even have the feeling of what is happening in nigeria because their families are not victims of the killing or anything but if your family if a family member of yours is a victim of the bad things happening in nigeria you will know how it feels i'm not going to wait for it to happen to my family member before i speak out Nigerian government. Ah. If your father is a politician, and your and your father is a part of the problem we have in Nigeria, God's judgment is upon your family. Like I really do not know. If you're in Nigeria, please comment down below. Share your thoughts with me. I am really not happy with this. I know that there's nothing I can do to change it, but we need to speak out. We need to speak out. I'm really, really fed up of this. Is being in Nigeria a crime? Is being in Nigeria a crime? Tell me. Every day they travel abroad, they travel to UK for 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 medical for medical care for everything. Why can't they create that medical good medical facilities in Nigeria so that they can have that medical care in Nigeria? But rather, they prefer to go and waste money in UK. They prefer to borrow money in China. Nigeria, it is where well low. You will not end us. Nigeria will not end me. Nigeria will not end my family. Nigeria will not end you that is washing me also.